Thank you for watching Charter Local Edition. Keeping children and families safe is the mission of the Children's Advocacy Center for Denton County. Their executive director is Dan Leal, and he joins us here today. Welcome, Dan. Thank you so much. Talk to us about your organization, your mission in Denton County. What services are you providing to children every day? Sure. The Advocacy Center exists to provide justice and healing for severely abused children. And we do that in a team approach to the investigation and prosecution and treatment of severe child abuse cases. Our center works every day with local law enforcement, child protective services, the district attorney's office, and our staff under one roof to basically reduce the trauma to children when they must be involved in a child abuse report, to hold the offender accountable for the abuse of children if warranted, and to promote emotional healing of the children and their families. Wow. Talk to us about those signs of abuse and, and what are our responsibilities when, when we see those signs? There's so, so many different kinds of abuse. There's sexual abuse, physical abuse, neglect, and the signs may look different for children of various ages. Um, I would say uh, if something is looking out of the norm for that child, uh, for instance, with sexual abuse, if they're not wanting to see or be around people they would normally want to see or be around, um, a particular individual, uh, but also if they make that disclosure to you of abuse that you must report it. For physical abuse case, I mean, there's obviously the bruises and marks, but uh, still if the child's uh, kind of digressing and kind of being to themselves, I think just having some conversation with that child, not pressuring them, but just making it safe for the child to talk to you would be a, an open way for that child to make that disclosure. Uh, the most common ways that we find out is simply by the child telling us that something went wrong and that comes about through open communication. Now, once you, you see those signs, mm -hmm. authorities need to be brought in, uh, need to be involved. There have been some changes in the law that require some it require folks to reach out to police and report things. Talk, talk, us, talk to us about those new rules. Interestingly, before the last legislative session, it used to be a bigger a penalty, a serious, more serious penalty to make a malicious report of abuse. And now it's um, mandated that we all make the report of abuse if we suspect it. If you um, do not report abuse when you know that it's happened to a child, that can be something that you can be held accountable for. And so to report abuse, one should contact uh, the Child Protective Services hotline anywhere in Texas at 1-800-252-5400 or go online to the Department of Family and Protective Services website or contact their local law enforcement agency. It's really easy to report and really all you have to do is suspect abuse in order to report it. Hey. And recently, uh, there's been a lot of discussion about this in the media and in public yeah. about a very high-profile case that, that was reported by a physician who, who, had, who had treated a young boy. Is, is that, that's common now, right? Absolutely. Physicians, counselors, schools, those are the biggest reporters of abuse. They are mandatory reporters by law. And those are the ones who are making the most um, reports because they're seeing things as a doctor or they're hearing things as a counselor. And um, particularly with schools, those have become safe people for the child to talk to. And really what I want to invite parents to do is to make their household safe for children to talk to them. Um, because the biggest reason why children, why we don't find out about abuse is that children don't feel safe to talk about it. And it's really important to have an environment of safety in the household uh, with the children. Discipline is a generally a very personal uh, uh, subject for families, but when it when it becomes mm -hmm. or appears to be abuse, that's that's when you get involved and authorities get involved. What what is the what what is the distinction between those? Um, you know, obviously, that's going to be something that the Child Protective Services and law enforcement will determine. If you're seeing excessive bruising, marks, bleeding, um, and the child discloses this and you see it, I mean, you've got, you've got a criminal case on your hands as well as a civil case with Child Protective Services. I think my best advice, though, Gary, is that when you are disciplined, particularly if we're talking about, talking about physical discipline, um, that it would be out of love and never out of anger. I think the biggest mistake when someone is disciplining their child that they make is that they do it reactively 
out of just anger and on the spot discipline their child, you're, the chances of that turning into an abuse type situation are so much higher. But if the family or parent, the adult, takes a step back and takes a deep breath and comes back and then disciplines the child soon after, but after taking a deep breath and, and approaches it in a calm, loving manner, which I, I know it's not always easy to do, right? as parents, but if they do it that way, your chances of that being abuse are so much less, and you teach the child so much more by doing it out of love and then forgiving, showing the child forgiveness and grace after they've been disciplined. But I think the mistakes that we've seen that are in media uh, circles, the high-profile cases, are when the child is not disciplined in a loving way, but rather in an angry, reactive way. This is fantastic advice, and, and if we want to learn more, um, the services you provide to our area uh, are, are much needed, and we appreciate you being there. The, the Advocacy Center uh, serves all of Denton County, uh, but if you would like to get involved, how would, you, how, would, how would a person volunteer or find out more about how to support your group? Sure, and since this is Metroplex, well, I just really want to point out that there's children's advocacy centers all over DFW, and the way to find your local children's advocacy center is go to the web at cactx.org and you can find your local children's advocacy center there, phone numbers, email address, contact us. We'd love to have folks as volunteers. There is a criminal background check process that we have to go through, as you can imagine, by our work. But we would love to have people involved because um, we really want to bring the subject from darkness to light and help as many kids as possible and really try to break the cycle of abuse one family at a time the Children's Advocacy Center for Denton County. Uh, Dan Leal is our guest today. Thank you for watching Charter Local Edition.